Hello and welcome. My name is Tony Amos and I'm with Electronic Signs. And this is the basic tutorial to show you how easy it is to upload a text message to your electronic sign. It is the tutorial for 4G, uh, so you would have been provided, we would have provided to you the internet site and then your confidential user and account login information. So once you've logged into the website, uh, this will take you to, I call this the home page, and it's really called Terminal Control, and this shows you the, the sign and what it's currently displaying. So for instance, I've just set up a set of messages that I have called Swimming Carnival, so therefore I know the program that is being played is called Swimming Carnival, and this is showing which actual sign that program is displaying on and the reason why this square is very important where I'm po pointing now is for example if you have two or three signs at your school the, obviously the, the website needs to know which sign you're wanting to to play with basically so when you're sending a message through your electronic sign there's two main components the first is the actual program and again that is the actual series of messages and then there is the task and this is where you program your tasks and the task is basically telling the computer uh, when and where to send your sign they're the two important components the other part of this tutorial is you may notice my mouse going up to the top here that is basically because that's my pause button on the video recording software so if you see my mouse disappearing up here please don't get confused it's just me pausing the software before I move on to the next part of the tutorial. And I'm going to do it now to show you. So that's just an example of when my mouse goes up there, please ignore it. Um, but obviously here is your working screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is to upload a simple text message to the sign. So the first thing you need to do is to select the card, which is basically the technical speak, which is basically the sign that you wish to change. And then you select programs, Always click Add Advanced Program, otherwise you won't be able to uh, do some important functionality. So I always click Advanced Program. And this brings you up with your working screen. Uh, this is the timeline. So for instance, that's 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So you can easily choose how long you wish each image to display. All I'm going to do now is upload a multi-line text message. This is the important function here. The rest of this menu we will go through with the advanced tutorial. This is your preview screen which you can enlarge to make it easier to read. I like that size. So the first thing I always like to do is to name my file. So I'm going to call this test file 1 and always save it just as you do with any other file you set up on the computer. So here we go. I'm going to send a text message to the sign. Um, I always find that if I drop this, you have to drop it into the timeline. Never drop it right at the beginning. It doesn't seem to accept it, but just sort of drop it in the middle and then it, and then it takes it quite easily. But you then need to drag it back to the beginning so that your messages start at zero. And you can see this message is going to go for 10 seconds. Um, you can easily drag it out to 15 seconds, for example, if you want to. So this message will last for 10 seconds. Here is your preview screen. Uh, this red bar lets you stretch it so that your message takes up the entire sign real estate. And the reason why that red is important is in the advanced tutorial we'll show you how to use various layers. So you can do things like uh, put text, uh, text message and an image on the same. So We've done that. We're making sure the message takes up the whole real estate. And I'm going to put sign being tested. This is because I'm actually on a live site with one of our clients. And um, it's just to let anybody know if they happen to be walking past that we're conducting some testing on the sign. So please ignore my very boring messages. Obviously, you will have something like swimming carnival coming up soon. So... Looking at the preview, it's not aligned correctly, so you just align as you do any other, um, 
any other words that you would on computer. All these menu items up here are pretty standard. I always use bold and I always like to use a nice colour like yellow. So that's one text message. You may wish to upload another text message for our test. Let's do that. Again, make sure the red line takes up the whole sign real estate. And let's call this second test, second screen. Now what I did there, which is really important, I'm going to go back, is you have to shift plus enter to go to a new line. So let me show you what I mean. I want to write two lines. So I've written my first line, then I click shift enter and it takes me to the second line. You can't hit return like you would on a normal other program. And that's really the only difference you'll find when writing your text messages. And then here we'll just write second line, shift, enter, third line. So I've written two text messages. Obviously, I will format it to the center. And I'm going to use uh, green. So if you have a look, you use this red line up here, gives you a preview of what you've written. So you can see here, go back and check what you've written to see if you want to make any changes. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to I've, uh, need to resave because I've made changes to test file one. So let's resave it. And the file is saved. So the next thing we need to do is we always go back to terminal control and always consider terminal control as your home page. Because now we've written the program or the series of messages, we now need to tell uh, the computer to send that particular message, not Swimming Carnival. We want to send now the test message to the sign. And as I mentioned at the beginning, that means creating a task. So let's do that now. Always, we always have to click this box so the computer knows which sign we're talking about. And we click Programs Task and to create a new task. So we click the green button. Let's call it Test Task. Press plus, test file one is the name of our file. So we have to click that there and then it comes up here. And this is where you can schedule, but I'll do that in the next, uh, in the next part of this tutorial. For now, I'm just going to save that. And now you can see test task has come up in the list of tasks. And I simply click send. Remember, you're on cloud-based software, so that took literally two seconds to upload. And as you can see, it's downloaded successfully. So that's your first sign that it's, that it's actually the message has been sent to the sign. And there are a couple of other things you can do to check that. So let's go back to our home page again. As you can see, it's still displaying Swimming Carnival. So what we do again is we choose the, the actual SD card or sign that, that we are changing. Query Terminal State and watch what happens here. It is now currently playing Test File 1. So that just reassures you that the sign is displaying the correct a series of messages. You can also use the screenshot and again, yes, it's ticked. And you click this green screenshot button and it's showing you which series of messages. So that's really how easy it is to upload simple text messages to your sign. But for the rest of this basic tutorial, I'm now going to take you through the same process, but I'm going to show you how to switch on your sign at 7 a.m. and switch it off at 7 p.m. The reason why this is important is for two reasons. Firstly, if you're only running your sign half the time, you will save um, the life of your LEDs after a period of years. And in addition, if your sign is displayed in a residential area, we do recommend that you do switch off the sign at night time. Um, it's just best practice to do that. Here we go. I'm going to repeat this process, but this time I'm going to schedule the sign to switch on at 7 a.m. and switch off at 7 p.m. Um, I'll probably just do the actions and don't need to talk through it because you're probably sick of my voice. But here we go.
Notice I use Shift Enter for every line. I'm actually going to run this second message a bit longer. Always hitting Shift Enter. This red line shows you the preview. I'm happy with that test. I'm going to call this sign test 2 and save it. So now the file is saved as sign test 2. So we save the program. Now we need to set up a task so the computer knows to send that message or that program to the sign back to terminal control, which is the home page. So it's ready to send sign test 2, but this time we want to schedule it. And this is when you click the button. I'm just going to schedule it for weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it will not switch on on Saturday, Sundays or Saturdays. Schedule time. So the start time we're going to do 7 a.m. And this is how you use the clock. 7 a.m. The end time is going to be 7 p.m. Actually, just for the sake of it, let's say 7.30 so you can see how it works. And then save that scheduling. So as you can see, the program's been set up to switch on at 7am and switch off at 7.30 every weekday. Don't forget to save your work. There we go. Test two tasks. Let's send it to the sign. Again, it takes a couple of seconds to click in because this is cloud-based software. It's moving very quickly. Test 2 task is received, downloaded. Uh, the message has been sent to the sign. And now you should be seeing the message displayed on the sign. So let's again have a look. Go back to the home page, terminal control, and confirm that all is good. So again, which sign are we looking at? Query terminal state. And there it is, it is now playing sign test 2. And of course your other test is make sure this box is ticked, click your green screenshot. And there is, that's what is displaying now. You can keep clicking it if you, if you want to. And eventually you can see after 10 seconds that's changed to the other message. At the end of the basic tutorial, we do have an advanced tutorial which I recommend that you watch. Um, where you can, it's just using your sign to its potential, it's showing how easy it is to upload an image and so forth. So please see the advanced tutorial and good luck with sending messages to your sign. Thank you.